Hey everyone, this is Rasko, and welcome to part A of the LV of Star Wars, The Force Unleashed 2. In this part, I'm gonna, sh right away when we're starting, I'm gonna show off a neat little secret. And I don't know why I'm using that fusion coil when I can defuse that one right there. I am idiot. This is just dragging out, proving nothing. I'm a bad lp -er. Yeah. Probably am, probably ain't, I don't know. You guys make the decisions. Oh. So, within each of these, these are three more tubes you have to destroy to get this achievement. And also, one here is a freaking back to green back to tank, which in other words increases your health. So now in order to progress with this level, yes, progress, and actually, in this part we're pretty much ending this level. We're almost done the salvation mission area of battles. Okay. You should have said something, Juno! I mean, you just don't look like, what the hell? Okay, that was... That was awesome. I, I just freaking slashed it with my lightsaber and it blew apart like nothing. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I think there are four of these guys in total. Oh, there he's on. And there goes another. Okay. I wasn't too sure if that one was dead or not. Oh, come on, there's more than four of these things? There you go. Yeah, I know it's overkill, but I'd rather make sure they're dead. What the? Th that box is flying in midair! Whatever. You know what? I start. I stopped questioning gaming logic a long time ago. Okay. There's something there. Something big. How the hell do you know that? Like, okay, you're probably noticing this from the. Uh, what the fudge? Probably sensors or something, but. If you can sense through the still the force, how do you determine this size something very freaking big? So does the force have to make you have the ability to sense the size of an object? I mean, seriously, holy shit, what made this hole? This thing had to be Wow, oh, thank god a cutscene happened or I would've went straight off the edge. Well, not a cutscene, a auto moment. Well, it's headed that way and that's where I'm obviously going. Now, while jumping platform to platform here, be very careful. Um, well, yay, coils. You need one of these, actually. And yeah, that's why there's three in case you miss. There you go, that's one. <laughs> I'm like, okay, there we go, come on, drop it. Thank you, pass me. You only need one. And I've never found a use for the other two. And I brought them all the way to the other end just to make sure. Yeah, I just feel like it. Okay, you have to move, move, move! Ah, oh, shit! Yeah! I wanted to show you guys just what happens if you miss. Now, you gotta move. You gotta keep moving. You can't just stand on these things. They will fall, no matter how long you stand on there. They have a weight pressure, and I guess their weight is over exceeded. And we're heading to the engine room, aren't we? But these things are easy to pass, just for dash room it won't be go through that way you have to dash through these things it's easy it's they're timed it's pretty much just like the uh, certain sections of the Death Star from before 
And I think I missed a holocron. Again, I'm not going 100% on these games. I told you this before. And you could have stopped that when you looked like an H rather than an I. Oh yeah, these this time it's these little red ones that stop. Ooh! Oh come on! That just sucks. That was a tease. I don't think there's anything there, so go on down the oh, ship! Oh, that was totally unfair and uncalled for. No, those don't go. Oh, yes, they do. Yeah, I'm just making sure there's no hawk, really any holocrons around that I obviously missed. Oh, bull. So, come on. Yeah, there's not much to talk. I mean, the engine room looks nice. It's exactly like the Death Star's laser beam section almost. You can't instantly die, but you can get hurt a lot. And I think those red things don't kill you instantly, so... Yeah, um, just move. I mean, why would you not kill these things? It's free experience! I prefer the leveling system in the first one. This one simplified it a little too much, I think. And yes, there's an easy way to get that holocron, and I think I do it this- What the hell is that thing down there? Ah, crap, I missed. So he's- Oh, that was- God damn it! And look at this! Oh, come on, turn! A cameo from General Grievous! A cheap one, anyways, but yeah, a cameo nonetheless. This guy's actually pretty medium to beat, depending on how well you can actually fight. There you go, it's a kill. When he does that stab attack, this is your chance to weigh on him. This thing can actually use the force and can actually counter certain force powers. I don't think I let it the chance to use a force power though. So yeah, our cameo from General Grievous, the probably the coolest thing from episode three, is literally weaker than the original and not only that, a lot less cheap. Seriously. game designers do this, they make something like this, and then they tell you, no, sorry! What the hell, how'd you get up here? Okay. Come on. There we go. Oh shit, that was close. Now, just like in the uh, area where it was cool, you can actually use the force push, or any force powers, to remove that smoke a bit. Yeah, I'm just checking every room, making sure there's nothing in them. You know, in case the, the programmers were kind of dicks. It's happened before! Oh, I don't even know what I was checking right there. So yeah, you literally can't do anything. You can't block, you can move the camera, but there's no point. Yep. Pushing down on the right thumbstick will allow you to do this. Zoom, focus your camera in the back. Yeah, we went through that entire scene just to go up one floor. Yes, uh, oh crap, he just left. No! Coda, they're gone. Send the order to attack or I will go without you. Already done. I've told the Alliance we have just this one chance to strike. The fleet will converge on Camino. And get his ass handed to it, no, most likely. He's luring you back to him. Yes, I know, but he won't be expecting the entire rebel fleet. Yeah, my thoughts as well. 
Let's hope we're right. How are you not hearing we're that? That thing's clanking loud enough to. Oh. I mean, that thing was clanking long enough, you could have heard it, and holy shit, this is supposed to be the mother spider droid. I mean, uh, Terror Walker. I guess this is mommy. Great. How the fuck did this get into a freaking ship without no one noticing it? Yes, Coda, I know. So what you're supposed to do to disable its shield is raise these things. Good. Now find the others. Uh, of course, Coda. I do all the work while you sit in the back, hogging all the glory. Oh, God, no. Yeah, there we go. Raise those reactor pylons. That's what I'm doing, Coda. Shut up. Oh, oh, that's just cheap. You can't hurt it! I'm trying not to hurt it, I'm trying to distract it away from the pylon! Come on, yes! And that didn't count as a wound, thankfully. So somehow this disables its shield. Its shields are down. Yay, thanks for killing your children for me. Yeah, the only thing about this fight is that it's a little bit of a procedure. Now, but you can use those to actually damage it a lot more. And when it's down like this, you can actually do some good combos off of it. That took the steam out of it. Keep it up. Yeah, I know it did. Don't stop now. You got it. Really, Coda? How about you come down and help me? You know, two Jedi's against this thing wouldn't stand a chance. Okay, now it's getting pissed. Yeah, as you guys notice, there's now these guys around. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that actually hit me. Wow, I'm impressed. Crap, 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 crap. Woo! There we go. Just made it. Wow! Seriously? Now you, you have a second objective. It. So your second objective now is to put back these, uh... Reactors into place. Oh. And yeah, you've got four of these, so... Hurry up. Because that terror walker isn't gonna stay there. And be in play nice. You can't hurt it. I'm trying not to, but it's, you know, catching up to me. The fuses! You need to get them back in place! Really, Coda? I couldn't have figured that out on myself. Seriously, man? Ow. Now, this little pulse wave will arrive. You will get hurt by this thing. So, anytime you see it happening, jump. You got it! His shields are down! Oh, that's cheap. Yeah, it has a missile attack. Oh, that was kind of lucky. Attack him! He's open! Really? I know that, Coda, but it's kind of hard to do! When I'm being surrounded by little shit terror walkers! There's this 
energy wave that keeps pushing me away from it. Yeah, this is what you're so technically supposed to do. Now you got it! Now the fun part begins. You get to control the terror walker! And kill these grievous things! Huzzah! Sweet revenge out of nowhere! And it feels good. Take it for a little walk. Now I don't remember exactly what attack button what button does what is it attacked? Oh, that was awesome. Now when it does this, it's trying to shake you off. Just follow the pattern oh, and you got him now. And you'll stay stay on. Actually, I think the laser attack is the best attack you can actually do. It does the most damage, but it's kind of hard to aim as you just saw. Take it for a little walk. Come on. So the second you kill this thing, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, get me up, little horsey. Whoa, there. <laughs> hey, whoa. Pull him into the reactor! I'm trying, Koda. That's what you're supposed to do. Just run this thing in the reactor and... Oh! Come on! Okay, never mind. Don't ram it. Just walk into it. There. It's dead. Good! Now, this was actually a fun section of the game. I actually like controlling this thing and killing a bunch of enemies with it. And dear God, where are we? Did we jump off in time? I mean, dear God, yeah, apparently we did. So yeah, this part soon kind of ends. So join next time as we begin our assault. Maybe hopefully on Camino. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day or night.